So, uh oh, there were a lot of things that happened yesterday, and this thing is quite a bit deeper than I had initially realized. So we have Galgamon now, right? Or sorry, no, that's what Galmon can evolve into. Galmon, Punchy McDog thing. Basically, Toma's actual partner, and I guess this is actually Toma's Digivice, isn't it? The blue one? I guess that would be why the orange one's hard to find, because that's the main character, Masaru's. It's always like that, but I don't mind. I didn't mean to get Galmon, I wasn't trying to make this show accurate. Come on, buddy, come back. But uh, this is actually their second transformation. The first one, they turned into Wanyamon. The next one, then they turned into Galmon. Now, the way I got here, first, let's have a look at the stats. See, Galmon, there are a, they're a Kamono class, which means Beast, Beast class. Um, connection points, and let's just go over this real quick to clarify any things that I missed yesterday. Senseki is, you know, wins versus how many matches you've done, how many of them you've won. I did a tournament, and I almost won everything. Almost! But it didn't work out quite so, we'll go over that. Um, Shinka Yosoku does mean evolution prediction. Uh, right now it looks like, since I haven't added any Digisols, for some reason we're gonna get Numamon? I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did! Was it because I didn't pick up the poop super fast that one time? I mean, I did it really fast, like immediately, but I didn't do it like maybe like 0.2 seconds slower. Shin that I know is their trust in me, actually. So if it's at max, we'll get, you know, the good Digimon. Giving them different Digisols uh, influences what type they'll turn into. But this trust meter determines whether they'll turn into a good one, a medium one, or the bad one. So Shin that I know, Onaka, that's their hunger. Uh, when they Digivolve, they actually increased past four hearts. Uh, let's go back around and look at that a second. See how it says eight out of eight? It's four hearts, but you actually need to feed them until it says eight out of eight. I don't know why they couldn't have just gotten rid of those numbers and put in another row of hearts, but you know, maybe animating that many pixels would be too much for the screen. I, I, don't, I don't know, I'm not a Digimon doctor. Seicho, they are, okay, in the in the Japanese un-English dubbed version, uh, you know how in the English one we have the, um, like the in-training one, in-training two, rookie, Champion, Ultimate, Mega, Armor, and all, all that, and so on and so forth. Well, in the Japanese original dub, they actually were called Baby. Like, Baby 1, Baby 2, and then Rookie is actually called Child. Which is what Gaomon is right now. Their type is Data, because there are three types, right? Data, Virus, and Vaccine. Uh, it's just kind of like a rock, paper, scissors kind of matchup when it comes to them fighting. First generation, they are able to battle as per the circles on the bottom. But uh, I have been acquiring some money. I've got 270, mostly from uh, the Colosseum, actually. You have to pay an entrance fee if you are doing anything more than Tournament 1, and it's kind of confusing, but I want to show you what it's like, so buckle up! We're going to do an entire Colosseum 1. That's what that says. Colosseum 1. There it is. Dude, way to point out that I'm penniless. I mean, I guess they got to, like, set the stakes, you know? Oh, oh, sorry, that's the cost. <laughs> like, yeah, broke. You have nothing. Because I have stuff at home. Okay, so when this half says start, I got to start mashing this rhythmically. Watch that 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 So I know you can go all the way up to the top. I don't know what how to do that. The instruction booklet here is actually in English. Well it's like in Taiwanese or Chinese whatever and English, but it's not super clear about that. Here goes Gaoman. So it is kind of like the D2 and the D3, depending on the power that you get at the beginning influences the power of their attacks. And look, Gaoman just keeps dodging stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure that's cheating, but... Okay. There you go. Oh. Every time it goes, Fee! and he looks away, he's like, nope, didn't count. I didn't see it, so it didn't count. And then we're just like, look at that. Little buddy here's just not even, like, trying that crap. Why are you just gonna give him a little love tap? So they're gonna go about five or six rounds, and then it'll, uh, either, whoa! Get... <laughs> Come on, stop hacking! So since Galmon has more health at the end of it, Galmon wins. Good job, Galmon. And we get 10p, and I believe we'll be getting 10p as we increase in rank. So this says Ranku, which just means rank. We're at rank 7, now we're at rank 6, and we'll continue to go on. This says next, and I'm going to say yes. Oh snap, it's Wanyamon! Rank 5, okay. So I, I, I tried mashing it slowly, and it doesn't seem to do it. It seems to be like, do it as rhythmically. And quickly as possible. Ah, 80. 80. Well, at least you hit him. <laughs> I love the animations and the sound effects in this. I'm just gonna be quiet so you can hear it. <laughs> God, I love 
love it so much. It does different sound effects of rising intensity depending on how many fireballs they shot out. Gaumon will just dodge forever. I I'm you seeing a, a trend here, right, though? The Coliseum 1 seems to be just baby and baby 1. Or actually just baby, because baby 1... The first form they're in, you know, like Bodemon and all that, they can't fight at all. They straight up can't enter the Colosseum. Well, I mean, Gaumon, when you just hack all the time, yes, you're gonna win. I don't understand that. He just keeps being like, no. Oh, here it comes, no. Oh, it's like voodoo. Oh, I don't believe in it. I don't know which Digimon that actually is. That was one that our Bodemon was about to turn into before I started loading it up with beast stuff, but here we go. Huh. Okay. I'll get it. I'll, I'll get this down eventually, okay? It'll it'll happen for me. Yeah. Yeah! Whoops. Sorry, I just forgot to, you know, be affected by things. Gaumon, I'm so confused. What is, there, what is there a stat for this? Do you have evasion? Because you clearly have an attack power, but it seems like I influence that. You have a health bar, but then it's just like, ugh. It kind of seems like every Digimon starts with the same full bar of health, so it looks like the difference in strength and ability is like this dodging mechanic or whatever. <laughs> okay, yeah, good good job, Galmon. I'm sorry. I'm just over here like, I, I am your, your tamer. And I'm just like, oh, look at my Digimon. He's just freaking hacking. Uh, he's, he's the worst. Someone should call on this guy. Disqualify! Disqualify! Oh, it's Chumon. It's so weird to see Chumon not just attached to a Sukumon, but... <gasps> 99! That's the most I've ever gotten! Ooh! Oh. Well, you know, it's worth three. That's okay. Usually the first ball Gaumon fires out is like a one, and he's usually the second one that's the big one. Oh. Nah, whatever. Small fire, big explosion, am I right? Am I, am I right, men? <gasps> Gaumon took damage! Okay, no, that's fine. We're, we're still, we have more health than Chumon. I'll be darned if my Gaumon is defeated by a small mouse. Although I've noticed that the Chumon Digimon by himself is quite a bit taller and lankier and disturbing to look at. Oh, great, okay. Did we win? Oh, barely. Galmon, what the heck, dude? I did 99 power. That means you make me win automatically. Fine, whatever, now we're rank three. Only three more matches to, oh no, sorry, only two more matches to go. Yes, next. So we're rank three. <gasps> Lalamon. Okay, now it's getting like from the series. Lalamon. Oh man, okay, we gotta fire. Oh, 80. Not like it's ever seemed like this pertains to anything, because half the time Gaumon still goes, yeah, see? <gasps> no! Lalamon's dodging him now! D no, Gaumon's not dodging them! Gaumon, come on, man! Okay, oh, well, m a little more effort, buddy. Just a little more. You, dude, come on, hey, I'm sorry about the time earlier when I said hacks. Just come on, go ahead and hit the- HIT THE LALAMON! Gaumon, please. Gaumon? Gaumon? Come on, I need, I need you to win for me. Why are you phoning this in so bad? Okay, I gotta calm down, shh, but, <sighs> calm down. Nope, oh yeah, that's right, Gaumon. Go, just, I, what? <laughs> okay, did I get enough fight money to buy the bed? <gasps> <laughs> Oh man, I ain't even mad that I lost, because now we get to go down here to the shop. There are three kinds of shops. There's the Buki shop, Buki means weapons. There's the item shop, which is, you know, item. Rea, which is the rare shop, I don't know, but we're gonna go to the item shop. There's an afro. There is a dragon head. It seriously just says dragon head. There's a helmet. There is a Deji bed, Digi bed. Oh yeah, that's what I was kind of wanting to buy though, because apparently, I don't know if this, I, I think it makes them sleep more soundly when they go to sleep, and it helps them. There's also something called the come on switch. You can use this. Uh, it costs 500p though, but you use it right, and you can mash it, and it makes your Digimon do these cool little animations, like they'll look away, but then you mash it over and over again, they'll eventually turn around and be like, SHUT UP! But it's it's a cool animation at least, right? So let's buy the Digibed. What? Oh, okay. I think I totally got it. 
Digi- Digibed? I mean, this is the food. I mean, I'm sure you noticed, I got myself some big meat, some cakes, and some Dejigumis. Dejigumis? I don't know, in Japanese they call it Dejimon because there's no D in Japanese. Or they, they darn well can, but they just won't. Uh, wait, so... I assume that's just like when I put them to sleep, now they will sleep better, and I think that increases trust or something. And between Digimon generations, they do inherit items, kind of like in the Tamagotchi Connection series. This this is just an amazing device. I, I'm having a ton of fun with it. The mini games are something. I guess I, I don't want this to go on too for, too long, you know. But like, I'll show you tomorrow some more stuff. As for the Digisols, though, how I got the cakes, the Digigumis, and uh, the big meat. I got the big meat. You go over here and hit Digisol. And, okay. If you hit only a couple, one or two or three or four or in a specific pattern back and forth, you can get certain souls. There are certain patterns, however, that yield you items. And I think for some of the plates that you can get, you can, you know, get them like that way. But, like, come on. I'm going to show you how to get yourself some neat little things just with your finger. So if we hit it right now, it's just going to say error. But if we touch just the... I'm going to put my finger in such a way that it activates the, the center one and then the two ones on the side. And see now... All the... Come on. I'm so conductive right now. No, shut up. I'm so conductive. I'm so conductive. Stop doing this. I'm so conductive. Oh, jeez. And okay, was, that should give us the water. Yep, we got Mizu. And if you want to know how I got Gaomon, that is actually how. At first, we did evolve into Wanyamon by feeding them beast souls, but then once they become Wanyamon, I decided, hey, let's see what happens when we throw a bunch of water stuff onto them, and they become they became Gaomon. It was straight up in the prediction, and even though Gaomon is a beast type, I, I guess water equaled that. So um, there are a lot of different... It, it, I, I, I guess we don't really have to walk through, but you know, it, it could be fun if you have the device just to like kind of and figure out what works. So we have a whole bunch of Digisols that we collect. First, that, I mean, so the first option, that's how you collect them. You can use the plates to specifically get, uh, you know, the, the camel to the beast soul, but like you can also get that with your finger. It's not a huge deal. There are apparently some like rare character chips that don't just straight up read conductivity, but actually convey data and you can get cool stuff. Like you have to go on eBay to find them, but you know, maybe one day when I'm making millions. So anyway, we go over here to the food, and instead of selecting Shokuji, we select Digi Soul. So we have an Anko. I guess I don't really have to say the Japanese words. You guys probably don't care about learning Japanese right now, do you? You could choose the Evil Soul, the Machine Soul, the Beast Soul, the Dragon Soul, the Bird Soul, the Holy Soul, the Water Soul. So can we just uh, can we just talk about for a second here how we have elements? Machine, kind of an element, I guess. Beast, I, I get that, I suppose. Dragon, yeah, other part, bird. Bird's an element. I mean, fine, eat it, get, feed it to Gaumon, because right, because as you'll recall, we looked in the settings, the status, and it said that they were going to digivolve into a poop thing, into a stupid slug thing. Which I mean, okay, we shouldn't sniff or, or turn up our noses at Numamon because they can digivolve into Monzaemon. But like, okay, so let's see now that we've given them two bird souls, what it claims that they will turn into next. <gasps> what? Gaomon plus bird soul equals what honestly looks like a Greymon. Could be... Could be a Geo Greymon. It's always hard to tell with the silhouettes. I mean, there are a lot of pixels here. Hopefully they'd be able to get that down. I'd assume if it were supposed to be a Geo Greymon, they would make his horns a little more pointy. Because, you know, Geo Greymon just kind of looks like Greymon, but like more dinosaur-y and sharp. But can Gaomon digivolve into Greymon, though? That, that must be wrong. I mean, it, it's, it's basically who's that Digimon? And then we all place our bets. I don't know, let's, um... Let's throw on... Let's throw on some holy. Let's throw on some freaking holy. I, I don't know if it's a matter of uh, what soul they've been given most, or if it's a matter of combined souls. So now, since Gaomon has turned into Gaomon, this is, these are the first digital souls I've ever given them. So they've been given two birds and two holies. What will they turn into now? Still? Okay, man, so here's, here's two holies for you. I mean, I, I'm just going to assume that when it comes to each Digimon in this device, they can only evolve into one of, like, two things. And so, it might just be ultimately down to, you know, what realm of things you've given them. I'm sure there's, I'm sure at some point, yeah. It might just be like dumping out a wall. You want to throw some of the Digisols at them and see what happens? Maybe, what, what about evil? Because if we give them one evil and it changes the prediction, then it seems like whatever you gave them last rather than what they have most of. 
No, that was still the Greymon dude. Oh, oh crap, I always forget. Uh, after you take them to tournaments or do lots of minigames, they, or really just any, they seem to lose hearts, like, per game. And so, I have accidentally let them get down to zero hearts after doing, like, a bunch of minigames and not paying attention. So, two out of eight. Let's go ahead and feed him. I do know, uh, Cake, I believe, says, um, actually, you know, this is a good opportunity. Let's look at the manual. Oh, so right, there's Geo Greymon anyway. See, like Greymon, but pointier. So I just don't really understand how Galmon would digivolve into that. Then again, I don't know too much about Galmon's digivolution tree. I don't like Galmon that much, so I have previously not really used him. Of course, now that they're in my digital pet and I'm getting attached to them, that's very much changing, but, uh, okay, see, look, here's the bed, but then it's like, Select yes when showing yes or no. Yeah, but see here you can press the come on switch and then he's like Rah! Stop it! Stop fucking me! Anyway, all the way back here in the back we have an item list. Uh, here we go. And now, uh, where is it? Ah, here we go, the food items. The Shokuji. So, if we're looking at Shokuji, uh, the big meat is just, it's like the regular meat, but it makes them full faster. Here we have the cake, it is, you feel full and improves the trust level, and then the chocolate, you feel full and improves the trust level. I, wait, where's the gummy? Where is the gummy and what does it do? It just doesn't show it in the item list! That's freaking awesome! Oh, I'm so happy to know that there are more items. Okay, so, uh, let's just do this the old-fashioned way. Down the hatch, buddy! Was that the symbol that's on... Uh, Gilamon, you know, the hazard symbol. What it, what did that do for you? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's watch their weight. Uh, let's watch all the stats. Okay, 17 grams. Oh, they actually, actually lost a lot, didn't they? No, oh, 9 out of 11 were the wins. Bull crap. Uh, 4 out of 8. Uh, that's okay. So 17 grams and 4 out of 8 hunger. Once we feed them the gummies, what it do? What... What'd it do? I sure hope it's not turning you evil. Because I uh, G Gilamon is like technically a virus. Okay, so they went up two grams and they also gained two hunger points. So that's cool. I guess it's just, it, I mean, if it does increase trust level, I wouldn't know it because my trust level, look at that. Me and Gaumon, we're just like, just like this. We're just like, we're so tight. Anyway, dear friend here, have some Niku. Two Nikus brings them up to one, two, three, four, five, eight hearts. Gaumon's on the right track to becoming whatever the hell that is. And as if this episode weren't going on long enough as it is, we got 40 steps left until we get to the next area for Wormmon. So let's shake it out. Look at this, I can even kind of tilt it back. And it works. Good lord. I should do Digivice repairs. This is so, I did so good. Sorry, I have to gloat because I'm usually really bad at this stuff. I break things very badly. I broke my Dreamcast when, I, when the controllers weren't working and I don't know. I don't know what I did, but I did something bad. Anyway, let's fight the, oh. This is the best, holy crap. We've had a really good, really good stroke of luck with this run. The first one I went to was the Dark Spire. I got really good luck with the Digivolutions of the Power. And now we've got the freaking Digimon Village. Hello, Tsunomon. Looked at three life, one attack, turns to four life, two attack, and they boost our Digipower to max. Oh, so great. All right, we got the Holy Squash, good. Oh, they're so happy about it. I mean, as is tradition, right? The Holy Squash? It begs the question, are they really happy or are they just pretending to be happy to appease the Holy Squash? All right, next distance is 7,500. After we clear this map, it'll be a new map uh, with new, new stuff, all the things we got to do. I do hope that we can find a new Digimon Village every time we get a new map because that would potentially increase our power just like, oh my God, like bananas. But this is wonderful because now our life and our attack is boosted by one, which is great because in this map area, in this entire map, apparently, there is this Digimon that's got three heads. It's like a dragon thing. I, I'm not familiar with it, but it has low, kind of low medium health, but it don't trust it. It's got an attack power of four and it's like, oh, it's ridiculous. So now that we have this power, even just champion Digivolution, even just armor Digivolution will be the power enough to fight it or at least negate its shot. So this is fantastic. Absolutely splendid. Let's go ahead and travel with, thing, uh, with Armadillamon for a bit. Uh, so they can take us where we're going. Oh man, this was such a beefy vlog that I couldn't possibly spend any more time drawing something. Otherwise, I would take this wonderful suggestion from Puppet Master, but that's just going to be such a meaty drawing and probably even going to have to do like pencil lines first because I wouldn't want to mess that up, you know. Uh, on a slower day, perhaps. On a slower day. Thanks for coming by. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good one. <laughs>
Never mind, it was good the first time. 